Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is my next interview for the Starshine series, and my next guest is Nicole Prezian. Nicole and I, Nicole has been a student of mine since she's eight years old, and you're presently now 18, almost 18. Yes, yes, Are I you, just turned 18 in March. That's right, you're 18, 18 yes. years old, so 10 years <laughs> you've been in my life, girl. I know, it's crazy. And I know, <laughs> since then she's done so much stuff. Um, won numerous awards, numerous vocal awards, and um, you know, she's gone to provincials and placed third, three, third twice, right? Is that right? Um. Yeah, two times, I believe. Actually, no, I think three times. Yeah. You know? Something like that. Just going to get that first place all the time going out there. Just start it. Anyway. I know, I know. Um, she was also the lead in Bring It On, and she also is a lead in Legally Blonde. So please yeah. welcome Nicole, everybody. So, Thank Nicole, you. actually, you worked in my studio as well as a, as a mentor last year mm -hmm. as well, and that was cool. Yeah. Um, so you've been busy. So tell me something. What was life before the pandemic for you? What was life like for you? Well, um, it was definitely busy with school um, since being in grade 12, right? I'm, I'm trying to get as best of marks as I can for university. Um, so that was definitely taking up a big part of my life. Um, and then also doing singing lessons with you, um, which was awesome and still is. I'm still taking them with you, which is a really nice way to spend the quarantine. Looking forward to it every Thursday. It's awesome. Um, and then I was doing a lot of shopping too. Um, I love to shop, so it's definitely been hard uh, not being able to shop uh, during the quarantine. But it's, I mean, it's doing my bank account justice. It's, it's a uh, definitely saving me lots of money, which is nice. But um, yeah, other than that, I was just hanging out with friends and just uh, really focusing on school. That's probably the biggest thing. Yeah, and unfortunately, this year we don't we don't know if you're going to have a graduation or any any formal yeah. thing like that. Exactly, which, I know. Um, kind of people are saying that, yeah, it might be virtual. Yeah. Um, there's talks of that, which will be pretty interesting. So I don't know. It's definitely weird. It is weird. It's kind of unfortunate because it's your last year at school. And, and yeah. tell me something. Uh, um, you have to take all the courses online right now at school, for school, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. How has that been? Like, how do you do you enjoy that? Um, personally, um, I don't really enjoy it. Um, I think it's a lot harder. Um, it's kind of difficult too because at least one of my courses I have with um, a school board um, in Sudbury. So it's really hard to connect with the teachers and it just seems a little bit delayed in a lot of ways. Um, but a lot of my teachers at school set up e-learning courses that I can access. So I find the courses that I have that are with my school directly, they're really easy to access. Um, I don't mind them too much, but yeah, overall, I'm not a fan. You can't really, it's harder to ask people for help too. Um, and it takes a while to get a response from people. So it's okay. Um, we definitely get less work on it. Um, so that's kind of nice, but I don't know. It's, it's not my favorite. I'd rather see my friends at school and be able to talk to people. <laughs> well, we were just discussing how it's kind of not natural not to have a social life or be social with yeah. people. It's kind of like the unnatural thing. And knowing that we have to social distance from each other is even making it worse, right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I know that's weird. I mean, you know, like it's, there's nothing like it really like and so we're going to really appreciate it when we get it gets mm -hmm. back to that new normal that we're going to get to yeah for sure yeah um so tell me something um if there was something that you would like to see change like pr before the pandemic to where we can go mm -hmm. now by this kind of a learning curve uh, what would you like to see happen i mean just a general idea of like not taking people for granted is super big at least in my opinion because I mean, little experiences, like even just going out to a coffee shop with your friends or going to your friend's house or going to see your grandparents, going to the grocery store late at night, because I'm a late night snacker, so I did that quite often. And I really take things like that for granted now. Um, and I think everyone will have a better appreciation for the things around them and the people around them, because that can easily be taken away from you in a second. So it really allowed me to um, understand that better and to look forward to when this is all over and just seeing everyone again and doing the things that I used to do. I was but just yeah. going to say, I find it that I think it's going to be quite overwhelming at first, yeah. right? Cause it's just, I a, agree. Cause it's, it's still not, we're not clear when this is going to actually open up and when we could be able to be yeah. safe to see everybody. So that's kind of the weirdest mm -hmm. thing. Um, I know. Have you had some moments where you felt kind of down, like depressed? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, definitely. I'd say when, I mean, it's been hard for sure. Um, I find a lot of the time I'll be going on social media just to pass the time. And I'm sure so many people are doing the same thing. And of course, it has so many like positive benefits to it. But I personally feel at least for my age range, um, it has a lot of negative impacts, especially for your mental well being, because I find when you're in or having downtown downtime rather, um, it's harder because you go on your phone and then you start almost comparing yourself to other people. You think, oh, they're doing this um, during quarantine. They have such a great life, even though they're stuck inside, they seem to be so productive and they're doing this and that. And then you're comparing yourself to that and you're thinking, oh, I'm not doing that. Like I must not be as good as them or whatever it may be. And I think that's really hard. Um, and I think it's a really lonely time for a lot of people too, not being able to see your friends and do things that you usually would. And for a lot of people, just the little tiny things in your day can, can make their day. Like you never know what your impact is to other people. So I think, yeah, social media is a big aspect of it that can kind of turn your day from positive to negative really easily. Um, and also just the simple tasks that we usually would do and we're not able to do I think that can really make you feel down but I mean there's always ways to cope with that and things that you enjoy doing you can still do a lot of that at home and you can go outside but generally speaking it's been kind of a negative experience for me personally just not being able to do a lot of the things that I like but right and so but yeah. what what does make your day like so there, there's got to be some things that can make it better like what, mm -hmm. what can make it better for you um, definitely music. Um, I love to sing, as you know, um, but that definitely helps. I've been practicing every single day, and then I'm trying to learn the electric guitar. Um, I already know how to play the guitar, the acoustic guitar, but um, just trying to learn some new skills. I've been cooking a lot and eating a lot, and that's been so much fun, Denise. Um, <laughs> so much fun. Um, yeah, so that was that definitely helps. I've also been working on a lot of music and writing my own songs and fixing my um, older songs up so that they um, are updated and sound cool. And yeah, I've just been really trying to get my music all sorted out and hopefully release some music in the near future. That's exciting. But yeah. So yeah, that's, thank that's the you. thing I think what's going to be the um, the thing that the light at the end of the tunnel for us is the fact yeah. that we have a lot of exciting things and exciting adventures ahead of us, right? For sure. And yeah. sometimes you need to take that time to get that in your system because mm -hmm. sometimes we get so busy, we won't concentrate on that as much as we want to. And, and, yeah. um, but to be able to tap on it when you don't, you don't have any time limits mm -hmm. is kind of nice, yeah. isn't it? Oh, yeah, so nice. <laughs> you I can know. take as long as you I want. Know. So, I love uh, it. Yeah, so just, I'm really glad that you did this for me. I just wanted this perspective, Thank especially you. somebody going in from a, you know, a secondary school, like you're going from yeah. now to university, you've accepted, yeah. right, to go to university. Uh, what mm -hmm. are you taking in university this year? Um, I'm taking pre-law slash political science. So that'll be fun. I'm excited. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you know, you. a singing lawyer Thank always you. helps. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I learned that from Legally Blonde. It definitely does help in a lot of situations. So I'm hoping that that's the case for me. <laughs> but please be more like Al than Vivian, please. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, of, course. of course. I'm just bugging. I'm just bugging you. Vivian are yeah. very You did distant. play Vivian very meanly, I have to Thank say. Thank you. Thank very you. Very sad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I don't know. Something it was the wig. It was the wig. It was. Right when I put it on, I knew. I just felt different. Just something changed in me. I mean, not literally me, but you know, I know. really came out. I got it completely. <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, um, but perfect. thanks for the thanks for that. You know, it's funny you should say about little things because that's exactly what Mac had said in yeah. a previous interview, and and it's true right. about that. It's the yeah, um, and it's funny coming from a perspective of. of people underneath under the age of 20 that sees it for that yeah. and that's kind of cool mm -hmm. for myself I see the large picture all the time so yeah you know and the small things do matter my dad used right. to say it's not the little thing not the big things in life it's the little things yeah. so you know exactly. that's kind of 
Yeah. So I really appreciate it very much that you did this. We're going to give, look forward to a performance as well from you. And yes. um, <laughs> that's going to be so awesome. Yay. Mm -hmm. But thank thank, you. thanks, Nicole. And thanks for taking the time out to talk to us. And I appreciate well, it. I yeah, love you. You know, you. I love you. So anyway, I love you, Denise. Thank you so much for having me. This no problem. Take care, sweetheart. Thank you.